the rig. Very simple, at least up until this point. You control basement, you control nest, you control the game. Uh, so we'll see if they can kind of get that concept down. It's been a very popular concept uh, moving forward. Obviously, Reality Check, they're going to be all over it. They've been playing uh, the mess out of this game, so they're going to be prepared. It's all about if Repent can fight back in this one. Taking a look at some of the stats we had there for you all. Uh, obviously, some strong showings here from Domi, uh, 14 and 5 for him. And another strong showing out of Suddeth1, Sud1 showing that he wants to be another a pro player in this game as well. Uh, Sud1, he, he shines sometimes. Uh, sometimes he has some real big games. This series, he's been playing really well so far. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, I don't see the tides changing, okay? It's reality check has picked out the momentum, and they've sucked out the momentum. And now Repent really has to dig in deep if they want to get it together. Repent going to be rocking those that blue armor. So going into this one, I do believe that we talked about blue potentially having the favorable spawn. So that is going to be here in basement. Let's see if they can stay alive here, hopping on board here with Joe Slays to start this one out. They have the railgun now. They just got to stay alive. Pondrolo in this nest spawn they do have that basement area locked down but one of his teammates actually going to go down here is now snizzaggle going to get the unfavorable br spawn and now it's reality check in the driver's seat they have control of basement and nest yeah but snizzaggle is doing a really good job here and he was able to take one base back but then they lost another one right away yeah this is going to be a little bit of a hard-fought battle moving forward from here, getting that BR spawn I think we're going to see a lot of movement, okay? Yeah. Uh, uh, just because of the nature of reality uh, checks play style, you're going to see a lot of movement. Uh, you're not going to see them hold down two for a long time. They're going to be holding down and then grabbing the other one when they're, you know, it's going to be a whole circle the whole game. I, a lot I of back and forth way. here so far, but you're right. Set up two, looking to pick up some of those weapons that have spilled from his brother's hand now. Trying to find himself a kill, going to very wisely thrust out of that fight. Now he has two members above him. One thing I got to give to Reality Check as well, they've always been very good communicating teams now. Um, kind of plays to, um, uh, you know, what they've done recently in the past, kind of maturing and, and really focusing on, you know, you've seen a lot of arguments happen w with listen-ins from some of these teams. Um, oh, yeah. But now, Sutta 2 looking to kind of take over here. Win some of these BR fights. Unfortunately, he is going to get taken out. And now, and they, lo the they lost the basement, but then they picked the BR base right up. And that's what I'm talking about. You're going to see that a lot. As soon as they lose one base, they'll be at the other instead of trying to take that one back. So now the first time we've actually seen an unorganized push here from Reality Check. That was uh, Domi getting taken out. Now Dramas moving forward, trying to do his best to stay alive. But now it's the guys over Repent doing their best to stay alive now. Dramas spotting two players in front of him. He's got shots in both. For some reason, he hasn't been I, shot I know, at. Now he's able to yeah, stay alive. What is this? He's got shots in everyone looking for a kill that he can't co quite connect with, though. So fortunately for Repent Gaming, that was three members down there for Reality Check. And now Repent taking over that basement spawn. Let's see if Suddeth one can get this camo. He is going to be awarded that camo. But now, is he going to be play, good play patient enough? That's really good shot. Uh, Suddeth one has a great shot in this game. There he is looking for another kill now. He has a great there shot. There is the reality check yeah. teamwork that we've seen earlier in this series. So now they're going to try to flip this one around. But fighting back is Repent Gaming. They don't want to quite give this one up. Sud one does have a few enemies in front of him. We'll see if he can use his camo to his advantage. He elects to go ahead and shoot that. But now he's been spotted trying to stay alive the best he can in this situation. I know he's got a teammate with him, but can he stay alive? Oh, no, he can't quickly answered and now set it to this is the play this is the play that I was waiting to explain so notice set it to with the BR spawn what did he do he grabbed the BR off the crate and instantly sprinted forward to gain map control he doesn't want to sit on BR base he doesn't want to capture the BR stronghold he wants to push up use that BR to his to his advantage get those players weak and you know, get to nest and basement. Those are the areas that you want to control. You don't want to take over. You don't want to waste your time with BR base. The other team can have BR base, and that's exactly what Sud2 did, and that's exactly what his teammate reacted around him, and now they're back in control. 54 to 15. They have a nice lead here in this one, and he's able to stay alive. Yeah, a lot of movement, uh, a, a lot of aggression out of both teams, and you see Reality Check kind of controlling the pace, and, and it's hard for Repent to kind of catch up. They're just scrambling, right? 
Absolutely. Now Sud one hitting all his shots. Some accurate shooting out of one of these twin brothers here. Looking for the third kill in a row for him. Will be awarded to his teammate. Or no, that was him. Sorry. And his teammate picking up a kill of their own. So now, reality check. Starting to run away with this one. Picking up several kills for Pent. Starting to lose sight of this. I want to give the guys over on Repent some love. Han Drolo, we talked about his incredible name. Yeah. So let's see if he can get something going for his team in this one. He's going to get caught with a grenade. He does have a few teammates with him, and it looks like they have a pretty decent push going on here. Well, his name is going to have to be more, well, his game is going to have to be more creative than his name. <laughs> uh, right now, it, it's very stagnant. It, it's not working out properly for him. A and this looks like it's going to be a 3 0 series for reality check. Yeah, this one's looking a little And they slow came out really repent. strong game one, uh, and that's what I was talking to you. Man, losing that momentum game one killed them. A and ever since, they haven't been able to get it back, a and because of that, you're going to see them lose the Series 3-0, but I don't necessarily think that this is a team that should lose this Series 3-0. We, we gave them a lot of love at the beginning of the series. I know they played pretty well uh, in played bracket very play, well. moving into pool play. I mean, yeah. they deserve to be here for a reason. We had over 50 teams at this event, so... Uh, with only 16 remaining, they're the best 16 uh, in Halo 5 Guardians up until this point. So, like you said, they, they played very well moving into this point. And, and their pool play dreams aren't over. Now, let, let's be very clear. This is Pool A. It looks like Reality Check definitely going to be taking this one at 92-15. to 15. They've been in the driver's seat basically the whole game. Some strong play out of both of the set of twins. Um, but moving forward, they just need top two in this pool. So if they can secure some yeah. more wins against the people in their pool, they could be moving forward into our double elimination uh, bracket play into the top eight. So not over for Repent. And, and, and Suds now put themselves, reality check, they put themselves in a really good position. Absolutely. Being up 3 nothing. That's exactly what you want to do in pool play. That's how you get started. And, and that was a good series out of reality check. They, they really bounced back that first game. I really like what they did. And then game two and game three were just momentum. It, it was easy for them. They knew they could win, right, after winning that round where they were down four to three. That's always been a reality check trait. Uh, if you let them get the slightest lead, they will run away with it. Yeah. Uh, they've done that against some of the best teams that, that we know, some of the best players to ever play this game. We've watched as they've done that against teams like Straight Rippin' uh, during Halo MCC. Some, some top teams throughout Halo Reach, Halo 3 even. So these have been, uh, you know, you, you can easily say that the Son of Twins, they set the pace uh, for the game. And if they have two teammates that can adapt to their style of play, which they have with Domi and Dramas, then it can be very, very scary. And they've They've proven that so far in pool play. They're going to go up 1-0 in their pool. They have three more matches, just as Repent does, uh, to play in their pool, looking for top two security so they can go into top eight. And, and I'm not sure how their style is going to match up with the top teams here. I, I think uh, you're going to see more organization out of some of the other teams, and that's going to bother Reality Check a little bit later. Uh, and that will be interesting to see as this tournament moves on into the later stages, right? But... Yeah, this is one of the better teams here. Uh, that's definite just based off the firepower that they have from the players that they have, right? Uh, start with one shot looked pretty incredible, that series. Uh, I was very impressed. Um, and, and even some of the plays that Domi had, they looked really good. So uh, the team looks good. However, I think they're a little disorganized compared to some of the veteran teams. And, and I think we're going to see that later on. But that will be interesting as the tournament goes on. Right, definitely some holes to fill uh, for each team. Definitely something that you can take away from the series. But that's the joy of pool play, right? So like we said, um, maybe not the best series for Repent Gaming, but you still have three more matches, three more best of fives to go away from yeah. this one. Losing to Reality Check, obviously if we have a tiebreaker, we'll have some replays, uh, things of that nature. So they just got to get a few more wins under their belt. They can steal a top two finish, go into top eight, obviously have another double elimination. There's a lot of Halo to be played. And that's one thing I got to give a quick shout-out. Uh, to Proverb, running the tournament, running the brackets yeah, I like, for this I tournament. I like the style. The format is incredible. It's, it's, it's a brand really new good. Game and they're playing so much Halo. I yeah. I'm looking forward to see what these teams can do. Repent Gaming is a perfect example. You maybe have lost this series in an unfortunate 3 0. 
But pick up the pieces. You have a lot of games to play moving forward. You know, you definitely don't want to be discouraged. Do what you can. Uh, use these games to your advantage. Learn from them. Adjust, adapt, and then move forward because uh, you could easily be playing uh, for the money moving into Sunday. Yeah, carry that momentum, right? Uh, or try to build some momentum if you're repent now. And if you're reality checking, you try to carry the momentum you just gained. But uh, it's not over. Uh, you have a bunch of Halo to be played. And like you said, uh, uh, that first game was very close to me.